Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Arkham Shadow video. Hope oh, you're all doing well. Hope oh, you're all doing amazing. Welcome to part 8 of Arkham City. Wait, hold on, hold on. Arkham Shadow's releasing tomorrow. Tell us what you want to see. Fuck it, let's do it. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Arkham Shadow video. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all doing amazing. With the release of Arkham Shadow tomorrow, I thought I'd do a list of the 10 things I want to see in the game. So here are the top 10 things that I want from the Arkham Shadow game. Number one, the ability to fucking play it. <laughs> nah, I'm joking, but the fact that it's on MetaQuest is pretty fucking disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda wish it was on PlayStation, but what can you do? Nah, but seriously, number one, more scenes with Bruce and Alfred. Now, what I mean by this is more interactions between the two, and I don't just mean like, you know, when Bruce is out in the field and Alfred's talking to him, I mean like, so you remember the scene from Arkham Origins? The one where Alfred's sort of giving him a lecture and then Bruce is saying, you know, like, while you're in here, I'm out there every night doing this. I'd love it if we could get more scenes like that. I think that'd be pretty good, to be honest. Now, the second thing I'd love to see in the Arkham Shadow game is, of course, Jonathan Crane's transformation into Scarecrow. Now, I've seen quite a bit of Scarecrow in the Arkham games, obviously, in Asylum. He messed with Bruce's mind quite a lot, made him see real of his parents' death and stuff like that. And then, obviously, eventually Bruce defeated him, and then we thought that was it with Scarecrow, but then toward the end, he, uh, he almost got mauled by a croc. Croc almost ate him. And we all assumed he was dead, back then at least we did anyway. And then of course, as the game ends in the credits, you see Scarecrow's hand grab a crate of the Titan. Now, we all assumed he might have been using that for something maybe, maybe a new dose of fair toxin or something. And then, after that you've got Arkham City. Now he's not actually in the main game, but there is actually a riddle, where if you go to a location near Joker's Funland, you'll actually find Scarecrow's mask on top of the bridge and I'm pretty sure that was him in like, you know, he's still alive, he's still out there. Which is kinda creepy at first if you think about it. And then after that, eventually, he ended up being what we thought was gonna be the main antagonist of Night. But he kinda he was kinda laid back in Night. Like yeah he did stuff but he was more focused on the Arkham Knight himself. But yeah, I do think he's going to be in, well he is confirmed to be in Arkham Shadow so hopefully that will mean we'll see his transformation from Jonathan Crane into Scarecrow. Now we weren't in Arkham Origins so hopefully he'll get introduced in, well he is getting introduced as Jonathan Crane in Shadow but hopefully he will become Scarecrow but we'll just have to wait and see. But I do think it'd be cool to like maybe hint at even if he doesn't become Scarecrow, even just hinting at him being Scarecrow, I think it'd be a good idea, you know, like if you see his mask or something. But without further ado, number three, which is new gadgets and old gadgets returning. Now as most of you know that are watching this video, Batman has tons of gadgets, whether it be the explosive gel, the batarang, or even the remote electrical charge. You know, he has got a lot of gadgets, now there's three in particular that I want to see in the game. Number one being the line launcher. Now, as you can see with the line launcher, you shoot it and you can knock enemies out of it. Imagine how cool that'd be. Just to, you know, first person, like knocking the people out as you as you swing in through. I think that'd be fucking sick. And then of course the second one is the smoke pellet. Now of course you can, you know, Throw the smoke pellet down and then grapple up quick, I think that'd look sick. Or even throwing the smoke pellet when there's a group of enemies and just being in the smoke and seeing them all scared, I think it'd, it'd be pretty sick and like actually feel like you're Batman. 
and then number three would have to be the back claw, especially the back claw slam, when you can pull the enemies towards you and knock them out, I think that would be pretty sick. Now, if I was to come up with a new gadget that I'd like to see in Arkham Shadow, it'd be, so, yeah, you've got the back claw where you can pull them towards you and stuff like that, but I think it'd be cool if you can, so you, you back claw onto them and you can like, you know, pull them to the side. Now, some might say the back claw is like that, but that's not exactly what I mean. I mean, like, you can attach it to them and then swing them back and forth, if that makes sense. I think that would be pretty sick. But anyway, number four is Harley going crazy, Harley Quinn. For those who maybe haven't played Arkham Origins, <coughs> in Arkham Origins, um, the Joker gets sent to Blackgate, which I'll get into in the next part as well. Um, yeah, the Joker got sent to Blackgate and Harley and Quinzel's there. So, obviously, they start talking, having a little therapy session. And anyway, you can see how attached she starts getting to him. And you can see it as well, again, later on in the game, when um, when Batman rescues her. She, she doesn't care what's going on. Now, it basically means, like, you can tell she's fell in love with Joker and all that. They do, like, imply that in the game as well. So maybe Arkham Shadow will go a step further and you'll actually see her, like maybe she'll get the clown makeup or the outfit or even just go a bit more crazier. So yeah, we do know that she's going to be in Arkham Shadow, she is in the trailer, but we'll just have to wait and see to whether or not she is in, you know, whether she does become Harley or not in the game. Now then, number five, Arkham Asylum. Now, Arkham Origins is Blackgate no sign of Arkham Asylum. Um, so yeah, I do know there is a big gap between Origins and Asylum. Pretty sure it's a 12 year gap from what I've heard. So we don't know whereabouts Shadow takes place in between those two, but who knows, we could see Arkham Asylum in Arkham Shadow. I think it would be pretty cool just to see it, like, even if it just gets referenced or spoke about a little bit, I think that would be pretty sick. But I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. That's the number six, the Batmobile. Now, I know when I say Batmobile, most of you are instantly just going to think of Arkham Knight. Those stupid tank missions we had to do. Now, to be honest, in my opinion, they weren't even that bad, but I know the majority of Arkham Knight players hated them. Or even the fact that Deathstroke, after so many years, ended up being a tank fight for Arkham Knight, which was just a copy and paste of the Arkham Knight fight. I know people weren't happy about that either. But, for those, well you might not know, there was, in Arkham Origins, there's actually schematics for the Batmobile. Bruce has started building the Batmobile. So who knows, we could maybe see it in Arkham Shadow, I mean, I know it's a VR game so I don't really know how it'd work. But it would be cool to drive around in the Batmobile in VR, it'd be fucking, be really good. So hopefully, they're able to implement that in some way. But I guess we'll have to see. Anyway, number 7, boss fights. Now, do I think there'll be boss fights? Yeah, probably. Um, I'm a little unsure of how they do it, considering it is a VR game. But I imagine it'll be similar to the standard combat that's going to be in the game. It'll just be a lot more complex and difficult, maybe. So, if you look at other Arkham boss fights, like the Deathstroke fight from Arkham Origins, for example, you'll notice in that fight you had to counter quite a lot in some parts. But then you've got other fights, like... The Mr. Freeze fight in Arkham City, for example. You had to use different different takedowns and techniques to take him out. So they could they could go about it anyway to be honest. I mean I imagine there's gonna be a boss fight with the Rat King, which is the main villain of the game for those who didn't know. I'm pretty sure most of you know by now. So yeah, I mean, there could be boss fights, I'd love to see a Rat King boss fight, maybe a boss fight with some other villains like Scarecrow maybe, or... 
Two-Face, I'm pretty sure Two-Face is going to be in the game, or maybe even some other villains, I think he'd be pretty good. But yeah, I'm interested to see how they approach that. It should be pretty good. Number 8. The introduction to the game needs to be as good as the rest. So, if you look at, obviously, Arkham Origins, that starts, you literally go in to a prison to save Commissioner Loeb, I'm pretty sure it is. But he ends up dying, and then you find out about Black Mask and all the assassins. Good introduction. Arkham Asylum. Starts off where you're taking Joker into Arkham Asylum. He's seeing all these inmates, and then the Joker escapes, and then, you know, that's the game. Arkham City. You start off by finding about Hugo Strange, and then he mentions something called Protocol 10. And then you're just seeing this city with all the villains running around and Catwoman in the courthouse and everything. It, Arkham Knight starts off by Scarecrow causing chaos, having to evacuate the city. And, you know, each game has started really good. Like, every intro of every Arkham game has been good. So Arkham Shadow needs to find a way to, you know, continue that path of like good intros they need to make the new intro just as good as the games that came before it so yeah hopefully it will have a good intro i think it will to be honest but yeah number nine the characters now in terms of characters obviously we know about all these new characters that we're getting but i want to talk about all the characters so you know it takes place between Origins and Asylum. It'd be nice if we could see a Robin in there at some point, even if they just mention it. You know, it could be Dick Grayson, it could be Jason Todd, but then I suppose that depends on what route they take. It could be, it could be a year after Origins or two years before Asylum. You don't know, do you? So I suppose that, suppose that depends what route they take, but it would be nice to see a Robin in there. Maybe some other villains as well, maybe some of the ones from Origins, it'd be nice to see Deathstroke again, or Deadshot, or even Firefly. Even just a mention of him mention of would be good. Bane as well, there's a lot of villains they could mention. I don't necessarily think they're going to mention Joker, because they want to focus it on the Rat King, and I feel like if they brought in Joker, it'd steal the limelight in a way. Whereas if you brought in one of the, like, Firefly, I don't think he'd do it as much, if that makes sense. Right, moving on, closing off the list, number 10. The last thing I want to see from this game is just for it to be an overall great game. You don't want it being like where, with Suicide Squad, they tried doing summer and it completely ruined everything, in a sense, like... It was, it basically just took a shit on Batman's character, and the, you don't want to do that. Obviously, Kevin passed away, R.I.P. So, hopefully Roger Craig Smith, I, I mean, I imagine he's going to have a really great performance like he did in Arkham Origins. So I don't think it'll be down to him, I suppose it just depends where they take the story. But yeah, I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow. Um, I can't actually play the game, but I hope everyone that can, I hope you all have a great time with it. So yeah, that's it for the list. All take it easy. Thanks for watching. If you're new around here, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button, liking the video, comment down below what your thoughts are, and yeah, I'll see you in another video.